Okay, I'm just doing a quick test now. I'm using uh, my Canon EOS 250D. Um, I'm having a lot of issues when using this wide angle lens because it's only got an f-stop of 4.5. The issue I'm having is I'm getting a lot of noise in the background and I mean a lot, it's like, it's just too much. Um, to the point where the footage is almost unusable when shooting indoors. So I bought a little light and it goes, well I say little, this is a big one, I've got a little one coming later. I've got a light that I've put on the camera and I just want, I'm shooting in auto settings at the moment just to see how and much of a difference it makes, but let me just show you the light, here we go. So that that's the light that I've got on the top. So the audio you're hearing is actually coming from the Canon camera itself, so I'd be interested to hear how good that does. Yeah, so the issue is noise. I'm gonna be comparing this in a minute, and I'm gonna be doing a test with my iPhone with no light, and the reason I wanna show you that, and even though it's an unfair test, is the iPhone still looks better without without a light on it and and that's the frustrating thing so I've got this big camera that looks more professional like if I'm gonna go and do a shoot for someone but in my opinion I'm getting better results from my iPhone in a lot of circumstances if I'm outdoors then I'll obviously happily use this camera but at the moment the, the iPhone looks great outdoors as well so it's like what do I do? Like, do I just get rid of the camera and just only use the phone? Like, never use the camera again? Am I getting to the point now where a low-level DSLR is not as good as the iPhone 13 Pro? I'm starting to think that it is. And I will, we'll see in this video in a minute because we're going to compare the footage. So I'm going to jump over to the iPhone in a second and we're just going to see how that differs. And that's going to be done with no light. So let's see how it looks even with no additional light because this setup now is really heavy. I'll tell you, it's like I don't want to be carrying this around. So let's I'll see what it looks like in a set. Let's uh, let's dump this footage onto the computer. So as I said, I'm now using the iPhone 13 Pro. I'm using cinematic mode because that shoots at 1080. So that video I just shot on the phone was in 1080. So relatively fair comparison, plus I get a little bit of shallow depth. It's going to walk around the house, same as I did um, with the other footage just now. This already is a much lighter setup. All I've got on here is a microphone and the actual phone itself, but it's a hundred times lighter. So, and, and like I said, I always feel like there's way less noise. I don't know what the phone's doing, it's AI, but it always seems to look better. So. Little roam around the same rooms I've just been in using the camera and let's just see which one's better. I'm about to airdrop this footage now over to my MacBook Pro um, and we'll just see side by side and just sort of have a look and see which one's better. Um, and then I need to get into the comments section. I need to get you guys to let me know, do I just get rid of the DSLR? Because if that DSLR is no better than this phone, then what's the point in owning the DSLR? Because it's just way bigger and I have to constantly change lenses. I've got three lenses on this thing that all look great. Let me know what your thoughts are. All right, guys, I decided to do another test with the phone. Again, with no additional light. Uh, just literally using the phone and the microphone. Um, I just wanted to do another test using the automatic settings on the phone. So I'm not using Filmic Pro or shooting log or anything like that. But this is shooting 4K, 24 frames a second, which um, my camera can do, but the crop factor is so big that I can't get myself in shot when vlogging. Um, it's like you just got a big shot in my nostril. So this is just another test, just to see what the difference is like from cinematic mode, which shoots in 1080, and it's using the LiDAR for the shallow depth, and the difference between that and just the 4K video that comes straight out of the phone if you use the regular cameras. So I'm just gonna throw that over to the computer as well and, and let's see a comparison across uh, the three options and see which one we're most likely to use, especially for vlogging. Okay, so we're back on the Canon again now. What did you think? It, am I just being too picky? Um, like I said, I'm happy, in order to be able to use the Canon indoors with this wide angle lens, which is what I like to use for a lot of my vlogging stuff, then this lens almost is rendered useless indoors if I'm going to get so much noise. Now, you might not be that bothered about it, but for me, it really irritates me, especially when you consider the size, the form factor, you know, the fact that it's supposed to be better than a phone and it just isn't. Obviously, the f-stop on these is like, 
1.5 I think on the wide angle lens, but look how tiny the lenses are guys. They, they are tiny, they shouldn't be better than these, uh, but they, they do seem to do a good job. Obviously, I've shot that using the colours that come straight out of the phone, so there's a lot of, like, not a lot you can do with the colour grade. Now I have just bought this, which is a 24mm pancake lens by Canon. Now I bought this because I figured obviously it's going to be a lot better shooting in low light and it's still relatively wide angle, but 24 on this particular camera is probably going to give me more like 35mm. Um, and also with this uh, setup, the whole idea was to have the wide angle lens for vlogging. So. I'm not sure I can hold this at arm's length um, and, and, and get all of me in. I did try it and it, it wasn't brilliant. So I might just drop a tiny bit of footage in the end of this video um, just showing that and let's see what it's like. But let me know in the comment section, guys. What do you think? Is this camera better? Do you think the phone's better? The biggest thing for me at the moment is when shooting indoors, so much noise. Uh, let me know what you think. I've tried the light today to see if that helps my situation out when vlogging. But unless I can get a smaller light, which I'm hoping turns up later today, it may be the phone whenever I'm indoors. So, we'll see. Thanks for watching the video, guys. And if that's helped you make a decision, maybe you were thinking of upgrading to a DSLR. I think if you're going to buy a DSLR, you've got to spend a lot of money on the DSLR and you've got to spend a lot of money on the lenses. Either that or just buy one of these. Uh, as promised, guys, I said I'd throw the 24mm lens on. As you can see, with the crop factor, look how close this is to my head. I'd have to stick this on some kind of really long gimbal in order for this to work. It does look sharper though, I'm just looking at the lens now. It does look a lot sharper and I think the image quality is probably a lot better. Um, in fact, let me just try this. Let me just take off the stabilization. It really didn't give me much at all. <laughs> it's like barely anything. So I've just taken the stabilization off the camera uh, to see what that looks like and it really hasn't given me much more room at all so unless you want a really nice close view of my face I'm probably not going to use this lens for vlogging not on this particular camera anyway um, but yeah I just thought it was worth a comparison just to see how much noise we got from this lens if any at all I have still got the light on the exact same settings let me know what you think in the comments section and as this is a brand new channel, I really appreciate the love, so <laughs> give it the like button and subscribe to the channel if you find any of my videos useful. I've uploaded quite a few in the last few weeks, so go check them out and hopefully see you again soon.